Okay, let's talk in terms of QuickBooks uh, 2018's new features for uh, scanning, um, for verifying against sales orders and invoices with the new mobile scanning feature and, and how it relates to AccuWare's label connector. Um, if you want to use uh, invoices and sales order data uh, for scanning, then you have to already have your product barcode labeled to be able to scan those labels using sales order and invoice uh, data. Um, what we recommend uh, with AccuWare's label connector is that you could use purchase orders or receipts uh, for when product is inbound um, or if you are making um, product to order then you could use sales order data or invoice data for your labeling. Um, let's show you a little bit more about that. Uh, so what Label Connector allows you to do is to rapidly create and print labels that you can design and bartender uh, using uh, purchase orders data, sales order data, invoice data. Um, you can even use the general items list uh, to produce labels and print and edit quantities. Uh, again, this is all being passed to the bartender label design user interface. You can use receipts also to print labels and we'll get into some of those uh, in separate videos but for now we'll just we're going to demonstrate uh, using a purchase order uh, so let's just go ahead and open one of those up I've got one prepared ahead of time here so all you have to do is just enter the purchase order number um, and you can easily uh, just go ahead and just print labels um, for that particular PO. Let's uh, just go ahead and generate some output here just to show you how easy that can be for this particular item I've created ahead of time. And we've got a, a purchase order demo label all created in Bartender. And um, we'll show you a little bit more about that in other videos. Um, so let's go ahead and just generate this to the XPS printer so you can see the output. And let's take a look at the four labels that we should have generated for this particular item. Okay, so you can see here uh, the array of data elements we can bring in from the purchase order. Again, you could keep your label much simpler than this and just put the barcode number on there, for example, if you want to. Um, but here we showed the barcode number for the item, the actual item ID, which can be different, right? In some cases, if you're using the barcode uh, features in enterprise uh, or you could simply uh, use the item data if, even if you don't have the barcode and inventory advanced inventory features you could still do that in, in label connector and create labels for your items um, so here we show the PO number the PO date and so forth uh, so let's now let's take a look at um, being able to maybe use sales orders let's say you're a company that uh, builds product to order and you don't uh, necessarily have things labeled uh, until you go ahead and like produce the products. Uh, sorry, I keep using single mode, which is a little more limited in functionality. Uh, so let's go ahead now with this one. And again, for the similar item, let's produce two labels using sales orders data. Okay, and again, we'll produce our XPS output. Again, now we're using sales orders to produce our labels. And here we have a, again, a pretty in-depth label. This, in this case, it's a four by six with an array of different sales order related dates. You see the item in this case, uh, we use the actual item name in the barcode, which we, we could use the barcode value as well. Sales order numbers, uh, at the ship to address, uh, all that can be including logos and lines can all be used on your label. Um, I hope that gives you a good overview again of the label connector product from AccuWare and how it relates to the new scanning features in uh, QuickBooks Enterprise. Again, you've got to get those products labeled with barcodes and labeled the way you want them to be labeled before you can then scan those labeled products in your shelves uh, with the new uh, portable scanning feature. Thanks.